Next up on our 2024 CBC Fall Sports Media Day Tour is the Lutheran West football team. Head coach John Perella. Coach, thanks for being here. Last season, you guys, uh, you won four of your last five heading into the, or four of your last five, including a, a postseason setback there. But were you able to capitalize on that momentum in the offseason just to kind of start this season strong? Yeah, I think so. We're excited about, you know, the work ethic of this team and, and, and the character of them. And, you know, we were counting the other day, you know, we've put in 128 workouts since uh, January and, and our attendance has been unbelievably high. We're, sort of, you know, believable to us. Our kids are, are tremendous character kids and excited for the fall. What's been the biggest difference that you've seen out of this team compared to last year? Well, I just, you know, it, we were blessed to have the team that we had last year. Great, you know, great young men. And this year, this year going forward, I think our senior class are, are really young men that really are taking the, uh, uh, you know, leadership role, uh, not only on the field, off the field, in the locker room, uh, workouts. Everything we're doing is, is pretty much player-led. Uh, really, really proud of our seniors and our team in general. What did you have returning as far as, uh, you know, skill positions, quarterback, wide receivers, that type of thing? I know you lost some offensive linemen. You had some big dudes that were, were seniors. So what, what do you have coming back? Well, we're excited about, you know, about our team. You know, we're, our quarterback, Jace Palmer, uh, has been playing well, getting better every single day. You know, our offensive line, uh, a bunch of new faces, but but some age in there that are kids that got experience last year. And and uh, our defensive line uh, returns all, all three of our starters. Uh, with Leroy, uh, Russ, you know, Carlos Hall, and Michael uh, Robinson. They return all those. And, of course, our linebackers uh, with uh, uh, Denver, uh, Scott, as well as Cortland uh, Campbell uh, and uh, Davion McDougal, uh, three of our linebackers that are uh, just, you know, some of the best players that, that we think in our conference. And uh, Winter Division is another uh, a player for us that, plays up in the linebacker spot we're excited about. And a couple of those guys are sitting with you, Maurice Wynn and, uh, and Cortland Campbell. All right. So, Coach, uh, I'll have Cameron jump in here. We'll start with uh, Cortland Campbell and uh, his teammate there. Jace just popped in. So when those two are done, I'll bring Jace in and we'll interview him and then I'll come back to you. But, Cameron, you're on. All right. So we're going to start from left to right. Uh, give me your first and last name, uh, grade and position. Uh, Cortland Campbell, uh, class of 2025, and I play uh, basically everything, just all-around athlete. You meant, so you say all-around athlete, you know, you bring versatility, versatility to this team. How much does your coach kind of rely on that, and how much do you kind of – do you think you can use that to your advantage in really any given situation, offensively, defensively, and maybe even special teams? Um, so as a team, we have a lot of players playing uh, all three ways that – being offense, defense, and special teams. Um, a lot of us just do different things to help the team out. Uh, Garden just coach throws us in as where he needs them. So, like Mo, for example, he didn't play any uh, offense last year. Now he's playing wide receiver. He's helping out at running back a little bit. Uh, Denver's playing everywhere as well. And uh, we just got a couple guys just doing everything just to help the team out and help us succeed. How much do you think that can play dividends in the long run for this team? It's a team that won two CVC Lake Division titles in back-to-back -back years, 2021-2022. Last year, coming in second in the Chagrin Division to eventual state champion Perry, a team that's kind of looking to basically reload again for this season to kind of run it back. You know, how important can that versatility and the willingness to maybe step outside the comfort zone pay dividends for this team in the long run? I think we just have a lot of heart and grit as a team overall. I mean, last year we didn't uh, we didn't perform as we wanted to when the season came to a close. And this year I feel like a lot of the guys are locked in and we're just overall just uh, the camaraderie and teamwork is just out of this world. And I think that's going to help us a lot in the long run. So you mentioned maybe not, you know, playing to the team's full potential, but you won four of the last five games, including playing a postseason game in week 11. So you, you end the season on a high note. How do you guys kind of maybe put the bad of last season behind behind you, build on the good for this season? Um, we just take every everything with a grain of salt and um, all the good things, great things, we just build on those. And uh, all the bad things, we kind of just try to let go the best we can and use that as motivation towards the season upcoming. And you mentioned motivation. What you know? What are some goals for you, things that are keeping you motivated you know, individually and also for this team? Um, me personally, I've been a part of this team for four years and I kind of just want to help out as much as I can. And, uh, just like, I, 
my school, my team kind of thing where I just want to be a part of it and do the best of my ability to help us out. All right. Thank you so much. Best of luck this fall. Moving to your left, name, grade, position. Oh, Maurice Wayne, class of 2025. I play DB. You play both sides of the ball offensively and defensively. Who are some guys and the – as a wide receiver that line up, that line up across you in practice who really kind of give you fits, you know, some guys, some, some names that maybe we don't know right now, but in five weeks, we're going to know. Yeah, really. Uh, I really have been going at it with one of my teammates, uh, Michael, he's a freshman coming in and he really like fast, quick, agile, light on his feet. And on the offensive side of the ball, he gives me great competition and great looks and scout team. And when I'm working defense, he also jumps in that raw receiver and, He's a freshman clocking a 4440 at the moment, so he's going to keep getting developed and keep getting better, and I hope to see him in a great position in the future. Well, you say a lot of good things about him. You know, having that kind of competition from a guy who's a freshman, you know, that can mean a lot for not only you as a player, but also for him and this team. How nice is it to see that from a guy, from a kid so young coming in and potentially being ready to maybe take some major leaps in his freshman season? Really, he really impressed me uh, as a freshman coming in when I first met him. He shook my hand nice and firm, and we continue to work out together. And he plays the same position as me, and I'm really developed as a player, so I'm really giving off everything I've learned onto him, and followed by other young DBs and wide receivers. They're just completely bought in, and they're ready to play. All right, thank you so much. Best of luck to you this fall. We're going to move to Jace. Jace, give us your first, last name, uh, grade in position. Sorry, I was muted. Uh, I'm Jace Palmer. I'm going to be a senior, and I'm a uh, quarterback. All right, you're the quarterback. You you run the offense. It runs through you. It starts with you. It ends with you. You know, what can we expect out of this Lutheran West offense this year? You know, uh, you can expect a lot of guys that are going to work hard. Uh, you know, they're going to give it their all every single play. Um, you know, we're going to be able to run and pass when we need to. And, you know, we're going to play United as a team. Who are some of the guys offensively, you know, maybe besides some of the obvious ones, I just asked the same question uh, to your last teammate, you know, who are some of the guys offensively that maybe didn't get a lot of time last year, but are looking to maybe take a, take a jump forward this year and to solidify their name in this, in this offense, uh, you know, for years to come. Uh, well, you know, we have a bunch of great guys in our offense. Um, our running back, Jalen Isom, he's going to be great this year, really ready to go our entire old line. You know, a lot of them are young guys, but, you know, they've been working hard all offseason. Uh, you've got uh, Jack Roa, Tahir Farkuth, uh, Gabe Watkins, um, one of our guys, uh, Isaac. We've got a bunch of different guys online that are just ready to work and ready to get going. That offensive line, obviously, it's kind of the heartbeat of every offense. You know, mm -hmm. they say the game is won and lost in the trenches for you as the quarterback. You know, what is your relationship like with, you know, the two guards and the tackles, but most importantly, your center, you know, the guy who gets the ball to you every play so you can get it to your running back and your receivers? Well, right now, my center, uh, Gabe Watkins, I've played with him um, on JV for the past two years. And so we've we've definitely created a bond together. Um, and then, I mean, the rest of the O-line guard and tackles. I mean, we see each other every day. We're going out to dinners. We're, you know, sleeping over at my house, you know, just hanging out constantly. So senior year quarterback, you know, everybody, every quarterback in the history of quarterbacking hopes that their senior year of high school can be a memorable one. What are some goals for you to make this season memorable? Uh, you know, it's definitely to have a very successful season, um, to, you know, perform to our best ability and how God allows us to. And, you know, hopefully to, I mean, number one, try to stay healthy all right best of luck to you this fall thank you so much for your time thank we're you gonna move on. i think we're going to send it back to coach and steve all right coach we talked a little bit uh, offense defense what, what's the big keys that, that has to happen each week on a consistent basis for lutheran west to be successful this fall yeah you know i think it's most importantly is just get better uh every single day and every single week i mean we can't look uh a game ahead. We can't look a day ahead. We're, we're really focusing as a staff and a team of continuous improvement and not getting stagnant. And, and as the year progresses, uh, we get near the end and get ourselves, uh, you know, in that 
the playoff race is to uh, have ourselves playing at a different level by the time we reach it. And last one for you is just define success for your team this year. What's it going to take? You know what? I, we are we couldn't be more excited. Uh, we've got a scrimmage coming up this Friday. Uh, we couldn't be more excited to uh, get through the weekend and get ourselves prepared for and get ourselves prepped for uh, week one. But at this point, I got to tell you what, what a successful season is going to be as we go out and we play uh, tremendous character football, which is completely different in some other places. Uh, we want our young men to uphold, uh, uh, you know, the the standard that that uh, the Holy Bible holds for us, as well as standard of our brotherhood in this school. And and, uh, and lastly, you know, it was to go have fun, man. Play football the way it's supposed to be played, at, at the right level. Uh, you know, the right character, playing full speed every single play, and enjoy yourself. And uh, the wins will take care of themselves. Outstanding, coach. I appreciate you and the guys taking some time to preview the season. I wish you the best of luck this fall. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it.